driving the knee gives me trouble. I try to toss him this way. It's impossible because he, he's here, all his weight's there. I say, I gotta find one spot that I'll be able to get out of here without sweat. And I found out that the only place, even though I pull my arm up, I keep my elbow always tied to me, even if you wanna get in arm lock, I just keep it here. Yeah. Look what I do here now, look. I hit his butt, look, with my knee. Can you go back, please? I learned that every time that I let people put them in my stomach and I did this, I end up on top. I would not only reverse, but I put them down. And the whole secret is, it doesn't matter, he can be, even those low knees, I put my knee right there on his butt, look. My hand, I keep it shallow, so I don't want him to go for the arm lock, I keep it low. And when I hit him here, look, my hand pushes his stomach, this hand grabs the leg to prevent him from coming back. From here, he can go back. I'm out. I turn, extending my legs, so my pelvis touch the ground, look. Then I'm up. Boom. Right on top. And this will work with any position that they try. If they try the knee slice, same thing. If I'm here, he's passing my guard here, look. There. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm out. And if you think when wrestlers take other fighters down, this is the favorite position to be. You do a circular motion on the guy's leg. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. That's why I never like much to pass with this knee slice because if the guy's a bigger guy than me, he can come up. I won't be able to hold him. You know, it's I'm always creating a gap which allows him to stand up. So I try to always use a technique that will work and 99.9% .9 of the people, so I try to be heavy on it. But if I have most of the people pass guard like this today. So if you see this right away, you know that it doesn't matter where his hands are. You see, my main goal, it's here. If it's this slice, he's on top of my lower knee, I hit him with the opposite. Again, look, look, lifting and locking. Now I extend and I'm on top. And when he has the knee in the stomach, he's on the same side. See, I just touch his butt there. And then some of you guys, I was telling you guys to bridge. Every time you bridge, don't just bridge up. The function of the bridge is to create a gap under you so your hip can skate, look. Every time you flat, you lose mobility. You know, that's why it's always important to be defending guard on your side. So it's the same thing here. When I tell you bridge, you put the foot, you bridge like you want to touch your ear on the floor. Look. So when you come back, look where your hip is. Free to turn. You see? So one more time here. And the bridge can never be this. It's, it's, look, out. Let's get your partner, now we have two mats.